What's up guys? So today's video I'm gonna be uh, remodeling the Redfoot enclosure a bit. This was for my Hermes tortoise so I want to make it a little bit more tropical for them and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna remove these plants here and I'm gonna put them along the edge and I'm gonna get a banana plant for this part and it's about to start raining so I need to do this pretty quickly because I need to plant the, the banana plant early. Alright so my friend's here helping me out. He's digging the, the holes for these plants over here that I'm moving. And I'm going to start taking out all this mulch with this rake and move it to the side so that I could dig the hole for the plantain. Alright, so there I, dig the, I dug the hole already. And it's pretty deep. You can't really see it that well on the camera, but you can see it's kind of deep. And I'm going to go get the plant now. We're planting these along here so that the redfoots could get under it. Alright, so here's the shoot. And I was told that if we plant it like this, it would come out perfectly. And bananas are really strong like that. Like... You could just plant the roots and it'll grow but i got the whole shoot so that it doesn't take as long to grow and so that the redfoots aren't able to eat it all right so there you can see that there's plenty of space for the roots to be covered i'm going to cover this up now and you can see that uh this is where the leaves are going to start growing i was told that it would grow out probably by tomorrow it'll be leaves coming out of it already all right so the banana's already in the banana plant and it's pretty sturdy i need to go get more dirt for it tomorrow and it's about to start raining so I'm going to have to leave it like this until tomorrow. And um, we planted all these plants over here. Let's see. And hopefully these grow out a lot bigger and the tortoises could go under it. That was the initial goal and they've grown a lot since I got them. And you can see that some of them were trampled by the redfoots. So hopefully these don't get trampled until they're a little bit bigger than the redfoots can't mess with them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to have to, I'm going to keep updating you guys in the same video with all the plants and probably take like a whole week to see how the progress goes and I do want to add a couple more plants that I'm not going to be able to because of the rain alright so it's the next day and you can see the leaves already starting to come out and that's great that means that the plant survived and that uh, relocating it didn't have any stress on it or anything so hopefully a couple more days and it'll already start coming out with some leaves and let me check on the redfoot tortoises one of these palm fronds from up here fell um the roof is here so they would be fine but either way it doesn't usually fall in this direction it goes towards the other side of the yard all right so here are the six redfoots i only have the one male i hope to get him another male soon because some of you guys may know if there's only one male uh, there's usually less fertility because the male doesn't have his competition so he doesn't really need to worry about uh, mating with all the females or anything to spread his genes because he could just do it whenever he wants so they seem to care less when there's only one male so if I get another male the competition would increase a bit and um, that would help the fertility the three eggs that they laid I think that two of them are fertile maybe one's infertile but I think it may be a little too early to tell um, the other two do look already fertile they're already starting to show signs of being fertile but uh, so far everything's doing great with these guys these guys are doing great they're eating a lot and they're active they're already really comfortable here they'll come up to me and they'll eat out of my hands usually when you bring new tortoises they take a while to get used to you but you can see she has no problem in walking over here and I want to show you guys something about uh, this one red foot but look at this tortoise's eyes you can see that they're completely black right and this one as well all of them are pretty much completely black but this one has like a yellow outline around her eye and there you can see that she has yellow around her eye and that's pretty cool this one has a, a little bit but it's kind of just brown it's like a browner one and this one's just a yellow rim around her her pupil so that's pretty cool um i didn't really notice or i noticed that she had that but i didn't really notice that none of the other ones had it um but now that i've been paying more attention to them i see that they all have completely black eyes except her and i think i've seen redfoots with the same eyes it's like nothing that special but uh it's pretty cool that she has it like that all right so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna rake out all these rocks and all the mulch and put it in that side while i go putting the sod i also gotta clean out the water but i'm gonna do that after I put the grass in so that the grass could actually absorb the water and so that I could water the grass while I'm doing that. All the redfoots are in here now. I'm going to open this up so that it's easier to rake everything out 
and I do want to leave some nesting spots. I'm thinking I'll probably leave them back there along the edge here. And over there, there's grass. And depending on how much grass I have uh, left over, I'll put, um, I'll either leave some here for nesting or I'll leave it. Because this is where all the sun, sun grass is going to go. The one that's uh, mostly sun. And then the one for the shade, which is called palmetto. I don't even remember the name for the sun one. It's going to go on this edge here along uh, the fence and maybe into that part. But I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to lay it out for it yet. All right, so I took out all the rocks that were here and put them in the bucket. And we're probably going to use that for something else later on. But I put a little bit more dirt in there. And I got Gracie helping me here just by watching and being in the way. So I'm going to keep doing that with all the mulch. And then I'll put all the sod in. All right, so I already started taking out most of the mulch. That way we're still not done in this part. But I'm putting the grass in. We're going to get a smaller piece and put it right there. And the good thing about this is when I clean out the water, the water would just go into the grass and it won't flow back in. Uh, that was one of the problems I was having with this. Whenever I cleaned out the water, it would just go right back in. And a little bit of mud sometimes stuck in the bottom and that made the water a little bit dirtier. But it wasn't that big a deal because it usually stays in the bottom. Uh, but now it's just murky because they were just getting into it and they're obviously on top of the dirt uh, walking around. So the grass would also help them get a little bit cleaner. Uh, when they walk on it, they'll get all the mud and all that out of them. And then in here, I'll probably just leave this dirt or I could put mulch just to keep them even cleaner and keep the water even cleaner other than the actual pee and poop that they put in there. That way I could actually see when it's dirty and I could clean it uh, every day. Uh, or if I see that it gets dirty again the same day, I'll just clean it again that same day. All right, so most of the grass is in already, the shade part. And you can see that the tortoises are already eating it. And hopefully I put enough grass in here that the tortoises don't mess with it too much right away. Uh, I'm trying to record a video, ma'am. Can you please be quiet? Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put some more uh, grass over there. And hopefully the tortoises don't mess with it too much. I need to make sure that it's good the first couple of days so that the grass could develop good uh, with the soil. And then I'll be uh, they'll be able to eat it and it'll start growing easier. Alright, so most of the grass in it, or already half of the grass is in for the shade part. Now I'm doing the sunny part. And um, I didn't already took out some of the mulch. I brought it up to here. And I'm going to start getting, this is a different type of grass. Alright, so I already watered down all the, the grass, the banana plant and everything. You can see all the red foots are out. And they're all in the shade. Obviously, it's really hot today. So they really like the water. They always come out as soon as I like hose down the enclosure. They'll start running out. I'm going to let this uh, soak up a little bit more water and then I'm going to go to Home Depot and get a couple more things that I want to add on to this enclosure. Alright, so this is how the enclosure is looking now. I just put some more dirt there to level it with the grass a bit. And this is where they're going to uh, hopefully breed or lay eggs. And they have more spots. I need to put some dirt there now too. Um, I put some dirt here. And this part I'm going to leave lower so that they, it doesn't get too high that they could climb the thing and get into the cactus and start eating it uh, because I want this cactus to grow for them so they could eat it and I just cut it and sometimes it gets low enough like over there where they could reach it by themselves and they'll just eat it like that so I'm not gonna raise that anymore but I am gonna put new mulch over it so that when they nest uh, the dirt gets kicked up and I'm able to see where they laid eggs I may put a little bit more dirt there probably not to be honest because that's all uh, sandy so I think that's already perfect uh, for them to lay eggs in. So I might put some mulch in here, but I'm not sure yet. I'm going to put the mulch on the other side first, and then we'll see how that comes out. Now with this mulching, uh, we're going to get another bag and just finish that off. And I'm not going to put mulch inside of the hides because they do like to burrow down a bit. And I don't really want them burrowing in the mulch too much. Uh, so I'm going to use just regular dirt. And that's not really going to be that big a deal. Like I always keep it with dirt, so that's better for them. And they're gonna be a little bit dirty because of the dirt but i think it's better for them than the mulch i feel the mulch is a little bit uh it could be a little bit more itchy to them but i'm not sure i don't really know if they feel it or not but i don't really like how the mulch feels so i'm gonna just put dirt instead all right so i'm pretty much done with the enclosure for now and now i think this is probably like the best looking enclosure that i have so far the only problem is that since it was just made Everything needs to get used to, like all the grass needs to get uh, used to the, to the like it needs to get rooted. 
and hopefully the tortoises don't mess with it too much the banana plants are already starting to grow some leaves and it's gonna look really nice in a couple months if this all works out uh, obviously now it's a race between the tortoises and the grass to see uh, if whether the tortoises could eat the grass first or the grass could get rooted before the tortoises eat it all right so i'm pretty much done with this enclosure for now i may add some more things in the future and if i do i'll record it but um the grass looks pretty good today um it's early in the morning now and gracie's coming over here but the grass looks pretty uh like if it got rooted pretty well it's obviously just been one day so it's not completely done yet but you know, probably all the water really helped it out yesterday and the banana plants are already sticking out even more today and let me open this up and see uh the redfoots all right so the redfoots are doing great Oh, they're all inside their hide now and I may put a little bit more dirt in here I put some over there and I want to put some inside the blocks just to make it a little bit sturdier and for insulation so I'm gonna do that off camera but I'm gonna end the video off here if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like uh, leave a comment for any future suggestions and make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't already we're about to reach a thousand subscribers so hopefully in a couple more weeks we'll be there but yeah thank you guys for watching and have a great day